Bishop, um, here we go again, another Good Friday service packed and jammed, people coming and preachers having a good time. What made this one special? Well, there's so much going on in the world, especially in this week because of the uh, Francis Key Bridge going down, the issues going on in Ukraine, uh, gun violence in this area, many dark things, many dark things are taking place. And so being able to hear goodness to come out of badness is again the joy. So we are certainly grateful how God can indeed take a dark moment and bring light. And so we're grateful for that and grateful for the opportunity of looking at these seven words from the cross. Bishop, and you have so many pastors here, Pastor Watley, who's mega, a mega church. You have Pastor Macklin, who's a mega church. You have so many preachers. What makes you be so humble in the place? This place was packed in jam. Well, listen, I'm, I look at it, they, they, love, they love Jesus, I love Jesus. And as we spread the gospel, and the, the reality of it is, no matter how many people are in church, there are more per persons out of church than in. Mm -hmm. So there's always gonna be that need of sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. Wow, and you, this is my bishop, this is my mentor, this is my pastor. Bishop, um, pastoring this church, and you're getting ready to do something on the hill with the senior citizens, and surviving COVID. Can you talk about, just for a minute, because I know you have to go, about the transition and what's going to happen this weekend? I remember you saying on Saturdays, you dress down as the young people come together. And this Sunday morning, what's going to take place? Well, well, that Saturday night life worship is always casual. This weekend, we've told our congregation to be casual at two Sunday services. We'll baptize on Sunday morning, ride, or sunrise at 6.30 in the morning. And uh, so mm. again, just trying to be as relevant as possible and also letting persons, as I preached last weekend, real change is on the inside. Once the inside has changed, it's gonna affect the outside. And so, again, we want as many people to be one for the cause of Christ as possible. So that's the goal. To God be glory. Coming right back real soon. This is my bishop, Pastor Henry Davis. All right, everybody, my friend for 30 years. 30 more. plus, plus. <laughs> Pastor Walker. Doc, I'm so proud of you, man. Oh, thank you. I remember you came from Virginia. Uh -huh. I've never been up and down those hills. Yeah, 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 yeah. West you, Virginia. You had to love God to do that, though. <laughs> the Lord was kind. The Lord was kind. And an amazing people up there coming out of Isle of Patmos. Yeah. You know, northeast D.C., right up the street from you guys, the Great Mount Calvary. Yeah. Um, but the Lord has been, uh, been so kind. And to see, one, how he keeps us in the faith. So many have fallen by the wayside. Some have gone on. Yeah. Uh, to be with him, but how the Lord has kept us and sustained us. And then you see the transition of, of another generation coming up. We've been friends up. since the 80s, y'all. Bible cause <laughs> brothers right here. Yeah, yeah, Doc, yeah. Take us back for a minute, Reverend Walls, because a lot of people yeah, never yeah, even yeah. heard of him. Tell oh us talk about the type of preacher and man of God he was. Robert L. Walls Sr. Robert L. Walls Sr. Mm -hmm. And um, he served the ministry of uh, the New Macedonia Baptist Church in Southeast. Built that little church, mm -hmm. handful of folk, to just a major ministry. Dwayne K! <laughs> <laughs> the Preacher's Corner that. right here. Big yes, TV network. Yes, we're on top yes, of yes. around the world. Doc, yes. Raymond Walls, I want you to talk a little bit more about him. Was he a pioneer, Doc? Was oh, he ahead of his time? Tell I, the world. I think, I think, I think for sure, uh, in several ways, entrepreneurship, running bus company, mm. daycare, wow. sure. building a senior citizen center, and even in terms of transition of leadership. Wow. Uh, Pastor Kay and I was talking. We, we are the benefactors of few who had transition plans after serving 30, 40 years to church yes. to be able to find a way to hand off, preserve a legacy, mm -hmm. what they've laid down, mm -hmm. but also to pick up the, the baton or mantle and run. And so I'm grateful. I'm grateful. We I, live I, in the houses we didn't build. I, I never yeah. sat in his office, Doc, but to see Reverend Walls and hear him preach, Doc, yeah, talk, yeah, about, yeah, yeah. talk about the radio ministry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Give yeah. He's, he was on. He was on. Right he was on the air uh, for a number of years, uh, WYCB. Sunday night, we used to listen to him, um, just a powerful, anointed preacher, not seminary trained and all those Ooh. kind of things, but just, just a folksy kind of preacher who used the preaching gospel and music uh, to advance the causes of the kingdom. And he what grew that he, little what, church in what Southeast. Did he, to what did he ministry. see in you when you was young? Uh, first of all, my pastor, George Rogers at Isle of Patmos, and he were good friends, all right? My pastor, George Rogers, was like a mentor to him because he's just a little older than him. 
So is that, you know, big brother relationship coming from North Carolina, same style, Northeast, Southeast churches kind of a situation. And, and part of that, again, riding on coattails, you know, because I served my pastor, supported my pastor faithfully. Dr. Wall saw that in me when I was in West Virginia and asked me to come down and serve alongside of him. So I'm just thankful, man. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm just grateful. Man, you're yeah. going to help so many people. Proud man. of you, too. I'm proud of you and the Pick TV Network and what you guys man. are doing. And Look, at, oh, relevant. Look at us, man. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me about this preacher right here, dog. Dwayne K. He's, he's, he's just a phenomenal mind. We met now. We're trying to, we're tracking it because um, I remember his kids were small I and now his them. son is preaching. Yeah. So we met. 2006. So we Six. traveled oh together. God. Oh, God. Internationally. Carrie, through Lock Carey. For a mission convention. Yep, so yep, yep, um, yep. that's where our paths crossed. First. I believe also we've had uh, some similar musicians in the past. Oh, of course. Of that yeah, nature. yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We're able to connect from a distance. I was in Alexandria. Yeah. Um, from Alexandria, then over to First Baptist Church going to Brentwood. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so following along, um, term senior pastor at 52 years, yeah. Harry Anderson yeah. Smith. Harry Anderson Smith. Um, legend, a legend in Maryland. In Freedom the county. Rider. Freedom Rider. National yeah. Civil Rights yeah. Leader. Listed among so. the who's who's among sure. civil rights and social justice yeah. uh, throughout the 60s and 70s. Yeah. And so and he's doing yeah. an amazing job. I, I need you guys to look at that camera, man. We, we coming on Pick TV Network and talk about ministry timelines. Because hmm. okay. many of us, God called me, we were young. So yeah. Yeah. We had no choice, dog. Yeah. He's still young. Jay's still well, young. No, Jay's no. still young. No. See, see, I'm, when you're a preacher. I'm, I'm making my way. When you're a preacher. Look, look, I'm making my way. When you're, when you're a preacher, particularly you start off as a young preacher. That's Everybody call you a young preacher until you get 50. You're a young preacher until you get 50. Uh, okay. Then when you get 50, you become just kind of a preacher. But then yeah. 60, you're old preacher. Oh so, you know, you got only 10 years yeah. that you're just a regular preacher because you just stay a young preacher until you get 50. Well, I'm no longer doing any work. I'm not getting any, any calls. Yeah. Young adults want to call me. Yeah. So, hey. so, but to see a generation, his yeah. son yeah. coming along oh, behind man. him, yeah. this, 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 these young lions is just amazing. Uh, we got a young preacher at our church. Uh, Keyshawn Hardy, yeah. um, uh, Pastor Thurm James, my student life yes, pastor. Yes, These yes, guys wow. are coming along and, and keeping just standing going. all yeah. what yeah. God yeah. is yeah. doing. Yeah. Yeah. And they yeah. have so much more available yeah. to them in yeah. this season yeah. than, than some of us took advantage of, yeah. or whatever. But uh, we're just grateful to God. We're grateful yeah. to God. And the Lord is always preparing, yeah. uh, you know, I think continuation. Yeah. One of the kingdom and right, representation, right, 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 right. Um, and you know we see it throughout scripture and things of that nature. And it doesn't mean that you know those who I'm gonna say hi, um, man. You know, come after it means have to. I gotta run. Right. Right. Okay, 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 okay. That's right. But it's like okay, I think in that continuation that there can be some. Um, Parallels and serving even as contemporaries, and so for sure. I think that's where we are now. For sure, for sure, for sure. For and sure. I appreciate y'all, yeah. man. We man, love you, Dave. Love you. On, on, on uh, Good Friday. Oh, this is one of the Resurrection Sunday. Sunday. This is amazing. Man, we day. bring together all these pastors around sure. the city, man. Yeah, sure. yeah, we had sure. Pastor Davis. He said, "Evans, I never preached in my own Good Friday service, <laughs> but you bring us together. Yeah, and that's yeah, the yeah. love of that man of God. When you hear yeah, yeah. awesome. the name great. of Henry Davis, great. God, great. what comes to mind? Oh, just excellence. There's nothing but excellence. Um, now, as far as his service to our community, now sustainability. Now, I mean, you know, he's not only come in and done an amazing job with another one of our, uh, you know, flagship churches in the county, First Baptist Highland Park. Mm -hmm. Just a you know major mm -hmm. ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, those of us who grew up in the 70s and 80s, we knew what Highland Park represented. Mm -hmm. And for him to come and build on that legacy of, a, of don't Reverend have the McCord. Big head, oh, God. No, humble no, man. No, humble no, man. No. Got a great spirit. Yeah. Loves Impactful. everybody. Knows everybody. Yeah. 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 So we're thankful. And, and, and when we get together, we are, we are a, a team. You can talk about Pastor John Jenkins. Right. That's family. Yeah, yeah. Bobby sure. Hicks. That's yeah, family. Yeah, for sure, for sure. For you sure. had to grow up yeah, in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our seats, Doc. The DMV is, is a special place. It's oh, a special man. place to it be is. and but, but to have but church what I, life. What I yeah. think about, Walker, and I think about is, 
how God connected us. Yeah. It's a lot of young preachers who want to get in and sit on the seat. Yeah. We, yeah. We've been in this for years, dog. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. of our 20s. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. of our 30s. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all sure. of our 40s. Yeah. 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 Now we talk about those 50s. 50s, 60s, man. Lord help. Lord help. Lord help. Lord help. Lord help. It's, a, it's a lifelong journey, though. Yes. So, yeah. 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 you know, one of the things is that in Jesus' public ministry, we see a three year public ministry. Wow. But we really see a thirty-year preparation 30 years. for that. Preparation Jesus. for three years. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. You get, you know, David's anointing, and you get Moses, and, and all of that. Those things aren't things that happen overnight. Over yeah. yeah. But you cannot discount the years of preparation. That's right. Uh, That's right. That's right. That's right. For that ministry, and so, you know, I'm. Glad to be a part. Yes, sir. Thank you, this man. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, so brother. Pick TV Network. I'm here with my man, Bishop. Wiley, how you doing, man? Doing well. How about you? Man, good, man. Bless you. You've been preaching at this event, like, how many years now? I don't even know. I lost count. <laughs> yeah. It's been a lot. It's been a lot. I'm so proud of you, man. Bless you, sir. Um, when well, you're talking to people today, man, and, and in that pulpit every Sunday, what, what does resurrection mean? Tell the world. Well, resurrection for me, it means the fact that I don't have to stay locked in my sin. I don't wow. have to stay ca ca trapped in my mistakes that God gives us through Christ new life, eternal life, and abundant life. And so when I think of his sacrifice for me and what he's done for me, I can never do enough to repay it. And I want to thank you for blessing people, man, all your life. How long you been in ministry? Oh, about 28 years now. Ooh. Pick so. TV Network, this man has built the church and ministry in, 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 in all the world, man. Um, I'm, one of my best friends, Keith Tate, is a member of your church. Yes, People keep talking about what you're doing, man. And um, tell them where they can catch you on Sunday mornings. Listen, every Sunday we're at Kingdom Fellowship Amy Church, right there, 11710 Bellsville Drive in Cowleton, Maryland. We have three services, 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 12 o'clock noon. When, when Dr. Evans comes, you're going to save me a seat, right? Absolutely. Don't forget me. Yes, sir. Yeah, I heard that, Got right? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bless you now. <laughs> Take care. Praise Praise how you enjoy the service today? Oh, it was an amazing day, and I'm grateful that I was able to experience this day. You know, the Word of God never gets old. Wow. There's always something new to receive, and I was considered a blessing on my life that I was able to be here and hear these seven messages, and not only that, to share in the company with other saints of God. And I pray that it will continue to nourish and feed our souls as we go forward, trying to tell this dying world that Jesus still reigns. He's a savior to all who seek him. And he loves us. And Lord knows I love Jesus. God bless you. Ready? Uh huh. We are here today, Pick TV Network, one of the most special first ladies of all times, First Lady Macklin. We love you. Love you too. You, know, you preached in my church. And, and talk about how it feels to be married to the bishop. It feels great. It feels amazing. It feels the, I feel God's anointed being married to a bishop. Not to say you're not <laughs> married to a bishop, you don't feel the anointing. But I feel great knowing mm. that I can learn under my husband and be taught by my husband and share ministry with my husband. And let's talk about the Golden Night of Greatness, one of the biggest nights in history. And I still play on Pick TV Network with Brandon put together. Oh, fabulous. We were so proud of Brandon and all of his work and what he did and all those who came together to support him, his dad and I, we were just elated to see the fruits of our labor in our son, Brandon. And Aaron Spears, yes. how he honored him yes. before the Lord took him home that yes. year. Yes. I think that was one of the most greatest things in history to see yes. Aaron being honored like that. Yes, and who knew that the Lord would be calling Aaron home at that time. But Aaron has always been instrumental in Brandon's life. Mm -hmm. uh, he's mentioned Brandon. Um, he's been part of our family. He helped Brandon grow to love drums as much as he loved drums. So we are very grateful to Aaron, his family, and all. Wow. And you you mentor other women. You know, when you preached at our church, and you got to say hello to Lady Evans. Hi, Lady Evans. <laughs> it's, it's so many people you have blessed down through the years. Um, now, if you wasn't a preacher, what would you be? A clinical counselor, <laughs> which I am now. <laughs> I, I work for Community Counseling Mentoring Services, where I provide clinical therapy help for adolescents, teens, um, single, married couples, adults, and all. And I enjoy doing that through clinical work and Christian counseling. And when, when Brandon, you birthed one of the greatest musicians' gifts into this world, Brandon Macklin. Talk about how you raised him up when you saw the gift in him when he was young. 
Well, I didn't see the gift of him when he was young. I wanted Brandon to be a football player. Ooh. That was my heart. Wow. Because uh, I love football. Steel is, a, is my team. And I wanted Brandon to play. Hold on, hold on. The Steel is on your team? The you, on you, team. You, you're commander. This one. Uh, Franco Harris. Commanders. Me, Joe Green. We ride across the street from the commanders. Oh, the no, no, stadiums no. are right there. Steelers, all the way. Oh. Black and gold. Do y'all hear that? It. All the Steelers fans. <laughs> you got a fan right here, y'all. Yes, definitely. So you definitely. wanted him to be a football player. Now, now Talk about the transition. Okay, the transition was um, I put him out there on the field to play. He didn't want to play. Uh, I would leave him with my brother so he can get the energy because my brother was a really great football player at his age. And he didn't want to do it. And he wanted to play drums. So he took my pots and my pans. And I remember most funny, uh, the most funniest time of Brandon. We were sitting the, at Glendale Baptist Church, and Brandon always wanted pens or pencils from my purse. I had to carry them around all the time. He would sit on my lap, and he would tap, tap, tap on the pews. <laughs> he would sit on someone else's lap and tap, tap, tap on their knees. And so we knew that was Brandon's um, passion to become a drummer. Wow. Hey, I promise me you come back on Pick TV Network. We're going to do a part two of this. The world watching. All right. All right. You, you yeah. promise me? I promise you. This Thank you. Thank bless. you. Bye. Thank you. Wonderful, sir. How you about yourself, man? man look, 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 man. <clears throat> we've marched together, man. We've been together in church, man. We've been together talking on Pick TV Network, man. Your wife, second year. Second year in a row, man. It's such an honor, man. It's such an honor. Enjoyed the word today. Enjoyed the word from all seven of the speakers here at Highland Park Baptist Church. Pastor Davis, First Lady Davis, amazing job. Listen, if you didn't catch it this year, you must catch it next year. You'll also watch it on Pick TV if you didn't catch it this year. They have it on Pick TV with the Honorable Bishop. Man, you know my name is David Evans, man. Don't try it. Honorable listen, Bishop. No, don't try it. Listen, the right listen, reverend. This man right here, we've been rocking oh. for like at least seven years. Now, tell me about what's happening in Waldorf, man. Listen, Waldorf is a great area, man. The Lord has allowed us to knit our hearts together with Bishop Larry D. Palmer, uh, Israel Total Life Ministries. We're there uh, to uplift the kingdom. So if you're anywhere close to Waldorf, that means if you live in Florida, California, New York, that's close to Waldorf. These are the joiners there at Israel Total Life Ministries, 64 Industrial Park in Waldorf, Maryland. Resurrection you, Sunday. Let me tell you, let me take it back for a minute. When you told me you was going down there to work and help with the bishop, you didn't know he was going to get sick. No, we didn't know that at all. But God knew. God knew. You and your wife have been there to keep the thing going smooth, man. Man, God is amazing, man. God has just put us there now, for the right time. Just think about had not you moved, Doc. Yeah. Think about you had not you stayed where you were. Amen. You would have missed it. You would have missed it, man. Whenever God tells you to move, it's imperative that you move. Because God knows the beginning from the end. So our steps are always ordered. And the church is so beautiful. And it was crazy about it. And I'm feeling goosebumps. You had already ministered down there before. Yeah, I ministered <laughs> down there before. And I had a church in Calvert County that mirrored this church. I built the church in Calvert County in 2000 from the ground up. And it mirrored that church. So you know, God has a way of repeating things. And God has a way of putting you in the right position uh, when your time is right. What and God has I, for you, it is for you. And when I went there, man, you acknowledged me, man. You had the, the bishop to come and escort me, went to dinner. Doc, and to see that building, I don't think the people looking at us un understand how large that place is. It's a blessing, man. God is amazing. God, he'll give you exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or think. And so if you're watching this broadcast, remember what God has for you. You haven't even imagined the depths and the, and the enormities that God is going to bless you with. Just don't lose faith. Remember, God didn't have a plan B. What he said will come to pass. And I've been enjoying you, man. And Now, you do one thing I don't do. This man get up early in the morning. He do his, bro <laughs> his broadcast. What the, what time you start, 6 o'clock? Pray. We have a 6 o'clock <laughs> prayer service. And then I'm in the gym the other days at 5.30 in the morning. I'm in the gym. I got to run. Right, wait. Love you, I love man. you, Pick man. TV. Peace, my brother.